hello. <laughs> Might I just say hi, but also thank you. Thank you guys so much. Because of you guys, my channel is at 100 subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, like this is so exciting for me. This first goal on YouTube of many. So I really just appreciate, you know, if you start telling the people about this channel, if you're interested in this journey that is being involved with me and this channel. And so I really also just want you guys to start uh, commenting more. This is supposed to be a community, hence comment community. Um, and just, you know, I really want to provoke thought and promote creativity. And so that's really what I'm all about, what this channel is all about. And so because of this, uh, I got a gift for you guys. So just one, just wait one, one second. One second. Are you guys ready? You sure? You guys know what this is? What these are? Hmm, looks strange, huh? I'll give you a hint. It's my old hair. Wait, why does he still have them? Hey guys, so as you just saw, uh, I used to have dreads. This video isn't gonna be really about why I cut them, but more about why I feel that everyone and their moms should dread their hair at least one time in their life. So um, the main reason being, it's a huge way to build character and patience. And I know you're gonna say, how is a hairstyle gonna help me in my life with building character or building patience? But it really is a really unique tool uh, for that. For example, when I first had the idea of getting dreads. Um, it was something I was really skeptical about. I wasn't really sure if I could do it. Um, it was more about, I wanted just them automatically. I wanted them right now. Um, and I was afraid of how they would look in the six month process, you know, up to a year of, of my baby dreads, my immature dreads, um, before they matured. And so I put a lot of thought into it and I wanted them so bad, like I literally, I thought about it day and night and you know what it finally hit me what when did I start caring about what people thought you know um, and it's something I always felt like that I didn't do I always felt like I didn't care what people thought but it was a moment in my life where I realized okay maybe I do and maybe I need to take this step to show people that I don't really care what people think so along with that, I just realized, you know what, forget it, like, let's just do it. Let's not even think about whether some people are going to look at me funny, whether I think my hair is going to look funny for a while, you know, I want these dreads, I know they will eventually look nice, so let's go for it. And honestly, it was one of the best things I could have ever done. Um, it was my senior year in high school, so I mean, high school, everyone's like, oh, you know, trying to look cool, I mean, senior year, like wanna leave an impression, all this stuff, and it's like, well, one, I never really cared about that too much, but there was still a part of it in me that did, uh, if I'm being totally honest, and so um, when I went for it, it was really hard for me to do, but I did it, and let me tell you, like, people will look at you funny. I remember one time walking into a Starbucks, there was this old couple just dogging me, just staring at me, and I was probably two months into my dread process and I just, you know, stared right back at them with a smile, you know, I'm just staring back and, and they're like, oh, you know, looked away, but, and it's just so crazy, like, people will tell you, why, why are you dreading your hair, like, it looks so bad, or why are you doing it that way, because I did a fairly natural method, I, I basically, like, hand twisted them, didn't use wax or none of that, um, and, but then after that, I let them dread their, on their own. Didn't do any maintenance other than um, just like kind of, I forget what it's called, but just kind of pulling them apart um, so that they don't join together. I had a few that were joined together and those were pretty sweet. But, you know, I, they looked fairly natural and, you know, a lot of people gave me looks. And it's just, it's something that really built my character, but also my patience. Um, you know, not only were people making fun of me. I mean, like my homeroom teacher was like, well, what happens if something gets stuck in your hair? And I said, well, what happens if something gets stuck in your hair? And she said, I brush it out. And I was like, well, I don't brush it, but I'll get it out, you know what I mean? And so people, they just have all these weird things, like these weird uh, preconceived thoughts about dreadlocks. And it's like, you can wash your hair, you know, um, 
you can brush them out after you don't want them anymore. I cut mine. Um, you know, they don't smell. Mine, my old ones, I don't know. I didn't know what to do with them. I really didn't. So I, they just been in an old backpack that I've had. And I pulled them out today. And not going to lie, they still smell really good. <laughs> um, from my, dread sh my old dread shampoo. Um, you know, you wouldn't think that. But hey, they do. Um, yes, there are problems with dreads. You know, some people, like, I ended up getting dandruff. I had never had dandruff my whole life. And then I ended up getting um, some fairly bad dandruff. Uh, at one point because of my dreads but that's not why I cut them um, I'll actually put the video of me cutting my dreads at the end of this and in the video I talk about all about how uh, why I cut my dreads and, and all that um, but I literally had no clue people were gonna stare at me. I mean, I kind of thought they might, you know, because my hair looks messy, but man, like, I can't even imagine how homeless people feel. I mean, well, some people, homeless people actually clean up very well, but you know, the ones with messy hair are just people who, I don't know, who had cancer and don't have hair. Like, it's just wild how many people, they have the nerve to stare and they have the nerve to just really tell you how they feel, I mean, I find it very like selfish like for people just to throw their opinion at you like that when you know I didn't even ask you know people so many times don't even ask you for your opinion and you just throw it at them and I've, I'm guilty of it too you know um, it's pretty wild it's, it's really it really is a weird thing yeah and so I mean literally it's a really cool process if you're willing to go through with it I encourage it I encourage it so much and even if you don't want them for your whole life or if you don't want them for a long time I actually was telling people I'm gonna have these things till I'm 80 you know I was so excited about them I thought I was gonna have them forever and I don't know I just did it and I'm actually considering you know maybe getting them again uh, I'm just growing my hair out maybe when I get sick of my curls I will probably dread my hair um, we'll see um, if you want to put in the comments if you think I should dread my hair or not go for it um, I might listen to you, might not, <laughs> but um, yeah, and it's just something that really baffles me, but it was an amazing journey because so many times, you know, all the time we're making decisions based on if we think it'll make us look better or, or better us in some way. And usually that's determined by instant gratification. Oh, this will better me right now. This will benefit me right now. But dreads is one of the few things that actually it will benefit you I, I'm telling you it will but not right now and if you end up getting you know some bad dandruff or stuff like that just cut it like you know just cut it or figure it out there's ways to get around it um, but literally it's something that I really found that you know they call it a dreadlock journey for a reason I, I, I referred to them as my kids you know um, I could remember every single one that I had on my head I had I believe 26 of them I would have dreams of them sometimes, like sometimes I still have dreams that I have them and it's just, it's really weird, it's something you feel attached to and I, and I believe that once you do it, you might actually want to have them for a very long time, so I encourage it um, and I say, you know what, go for it. If you're thinking about dreads, just go for it, honestly, it's something that will really better you as a person, give you patience and character. And so yeah, um, this hasn't been a typical video that I normally do, but basically that's just something I wanted to share. I mean, I've seen all these videos of people cutting their dreads or like why you should or why you shouldn't get dreads, but this, is, this isn't why this one person who's thinking about dreads should get dreads. This is why people who will never ever in their life think about getting dreads, this is why I think they should get dreads. And so it's something to think about, you know, uh, share this video with your friends, um, let them think about it maybe we'll see a big old spur of people getting dreads and it's not for a trend you know it's not for any of that it's just for personal growth and it's something that will really do that and so I encourage it um, and I say to do it hey, what's up? but um and I just say go for it so I mean if you're wanting to you know like subscribe do all that um, that's my bro <laughs> um, 
not sure if you could see them but yeah um love you guys uh, and hope you enjoy this video if you want more videos kind of like this just let me know uh see you